Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is chilly this morning. Very chilly in that wind. Alexa, the wind is chilly. What's the weather? Let's just get the weather out of the way. Alexa, what's the weather? In Waco, it's 34 degrees with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for intermittent clouds with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 33 degrees. And you want me to work outside today? You looks like it's uh, in the low 20s in the windshield. Ooh, it's cold. So it's that cold. is a it's little, cold. I'm gonna be intermittent inside. I'm gonna be intermittent inside myself. Now, we have not talked about this. Oh. And I am a, and there has been a lot of talk on Facebook, but, and it's about Ronda Rousey. I'm an MMA guy. I love MMA fight. I'm going to sit over here while you get no. done. Okay. I want, and I told my opinion. I said, she has to leave her camp. She is not a boxer. She does not know how to box. They, they, I showed your weakness. I know your curveball. I know where you're going to throw that curveball, so I'm going to hit that curveball every time. Do, as an MMA just <clears throat> watcher. I have seen the reports online about everybody telling her to leave that trainer right. or whatever because he was, he didn't know how to teach her to fight this girl. Right. And it was evident <clears throat> that she had no game plan other than, I'm gonna try to not get hit, and so, and uh, that's that's really all the game plan she had was try to not get hit. Now we got that part. Now I'm gonna go into the loyalty part. Okay. As me and you, me and you, we are loyal to each other, better than our women. We are loyal to each other. You're my trainer. I am your trainer. And you go. Dude, they go, dude. You're not a you're not a boxing deal. Do you listen to the outside, or am I a good enough friend to go, dude? I can't teach you boxing. You're gonna have to go see Hoke. I would hope you would be the 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 friend to to say that. If not, it puts you in it puts me in a pickle. That's where I think it is. <clears throat> and you know, you go back, and that's who she started with. Got that's who she's top. been training with all this time. Got to the it's top hard to go, yeah. man. I, so I get it. I, I do get it. Uh, There's where I blame the trainer. If my job is to make you a champion, then I need to go. I'm not qualified for that part. Let me get somebody that is. Yeah. And I'll still be the the producer. It ain't no difference in you telling me, hey, dude, we're going to film this movie, but we're going to get Craig to direct it because he's a better director than you. I would go, you go absolutely. You, you watch uh, Mayweather, how many times he's bounced from his uncle, oh, yeah. you know, back and forth, depending on who he's fighting and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. This ain't all MMA. We just want to get that out of the way. So if you have a comment, please do leave that comment. And uh, and thanks for all the comments yesterday. It wasn't, uh, it was Mary Hart that had her legs uh, insured. Oh. Not uh, Lisa Gibbons. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, good job. My dog is scratching over here. She's supposed to be quiet. Can't hear. What makes you a winner? What What do you think? And I don't mean winner like I'm a winner of the lottery, I'm a winner of a champion. What makes you a winner of every day in your life? Try. It's hard to say, but what makes a winner is trying like hell, never giving up. You're not always going to win. No. No one has ever always won, except Mayweather. Mayweather. Go back to that. But it's just, just never getting your head down, always trying your best, and never giving up. So I why mean, do people struggle <clears throat> with being a life winner? Why do people have those moments of self-doubt, I can't do it? Everybody's, everybody's built different. Everybody has, everybody has those demons. Uh... Everybody has some sort of negativity. Uh, some people can talk themselves through it a little more than others. Right. Uh, a lot of people don't have confidence. Uh, I mean, there's so many. There's so many things. And I'm going somewhere with this because 
we were talking yesterday, and I always like to divulge our personal business as much as we can. Right. We were talking yesterday, and you are now in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You are now engaged. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. But anyway, no. Uh, and you said, I now feel the happiest. I see, right. I see how I was miserable. And even though you were single, we had the bar, we were doing this, everybody thought you were the life of the party, when you were drunk, of course, uh, blah, blah, blah. But now you say, I feel like, what makes that? What made you feel like, you know what? Because I'm going to say the same thing when I talk about Stephanie. I, I, I can't explain it. I mean, because my life went from a reckless hell to a in bed at 930. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, it's unexplainable. It's just... My comment to you was, I didn't realize how unhappy I was until I was happy. Right. I thought I was happy yeah, yeah. running the streets. Right. But that was just a way to pass time. There's my deal. When I, me and Stephanie got together, you told me, be sure you mm -hmm. do not screw up her life. Right. And the same thing I had told you. But the relationship made me focus. And you had said that before the other day. Made me focus on what I really wanted to do. Yeah, we were making movies, but yeah, we were whoring around. Right. Yeah, we were <clears throat> trying to make it big, but let's go and party and play in Dallas and run. To all, and, and, and and the focus has changed. And I, since then, we have really started pushing back our, pushing forward on our dreams. And as, and as far as that goes, I lost my best friends. Yeah. That were doing that with me. So for me, it was, man, y'all ready? Let's go to, I'm by myself. Yeah. I got no, I'm, I'm going to have to run alone. Yeah. And I was running in a hundred different directions and now it, it got me back here. So. And, and a little bit further on that is Red Sea with cinema. And with the backyard has taken a little back seat. Yeah. At times. I agree. And now that the backyard is, is functioning on, on its own and we don't have to be down there all the time, that allows us to focus a little bit more on this. And I'm, I'm re-energized. Yeah. That was really one of the things that we talked <clears throat> about bringing back the morning show was for us. We enjoy telling you our highs and lows. Dirt. You know, I, 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 I don't mind telling you that, you know, we're a bunch of screw-ups who win. You know what? We're, hopefully we can make somebody else not screw up. But our journey through what we're doing, and it was just a deal of, it got to be a cluster mess with everything right. we were doing. And I'm glad we're back doing that. Now, let's get straight into the last deal before we leave. Monday is the national championship game. Yes. Okay, and sorry that two of these topics are sports. Folks. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we're yeah. gonna have it down at the backyard. That's where I'm going. Right. We're gonna have it down at the backyard on the jumbotron. We want all you guys to come out and watch the national championship game. Come out on Sunday and watch the cowgirls win, cowboys win, and what's going on this weekend? What are we gonna try to do because we got so many people coming for the for James Taylor not firing rain. We are going to make us a, a makeshift outside area that's heated. Um, Wait a second. <clears throat> now go. I was crossing my fingers. We are. Uh, because of the fire marshal, it can't be completely enclosed. Right. Got to be able to, for people to get out and, and things of that sort. Going to bring in some heaters, heat it a little bit, and then we'll have, you know, we'll have room for four four or five hundred and we're going to put it under the under the new canopy and right. he's going they're going to be on stage and we're going to try to plastic that off as best we can and keep you guys warm so we don't want to have to turn anybody away no for us for us backyard makes us money for the people that show up right for the artist they make their money at the door you know they they make the door money we get food and alcohol sales yes so of course we want more in there but we want you in there comfortably. And we want a lot of drinkers. <clears throat> yeah. And a lot of food people. And you to get home safe. And to get home safe, which we can get you home safe. All right, man, we're going to get out of here. Uh, I thought his name was pretty good. 
thought today was pretty good. I was thinking on some topics, and I had my Yahoo up. I thought today was pretty good. I want to know, do y'all like hearing our, our personal stuff? I don't care. Do y'all? No, no, not, not them, not you. Yeah. I mean, do y'all like hearing the middle of this show? I mean, those are the things that I think we've those, always wondered. I think that makes us personable. I think those were the things that helped get, get us out there to know what we did and how our relationships sucked and how they worked and how we fought and how we, you know, it's just part of it. So even if you don't like it, which you can comment on it, we're still going to do it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. All right, man, we're going to get it's out of here. show. It's our show, yeah. You know what, let's just go. And today, Chris will exit the correct way. way. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris, and we are out.